Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. We are, today we are looking with the tarot for the reasons why Megan has decided to mention Jordan Peterson in her Archetypes podcast. Now Jordan Peterson is a, well, he's, he's like a psychologist um, psychiatrist, I'm not sure which one he is, but he's like mega mind. He's very intelligent, he's an author, he's a YouTuber, public speaker, um, he used to be a lecturer and yeah, he's made quite an impact on the world, especially within men's mental health. Um, so yeah, um, a lot of men look up to Jordan, and a lot of women as well look up to Jordan Peterson as somebody who's made a positive impact to them. Um, he's written a book called 12 Rules for Life and yeah so I'm aware of Jordan Peterson I think he's an all right dude and that's just to let you know that's where I stand with him I have i didn't think I'd ever be mentioning Meghan Markle and Jordan Peterson in the same kind of breath um, but here we are so Meghan has said like denounced something Jordan has said uh, about her about women being hysterical so yeah so we're going to look into that why she said it and if she thinks she's as clever as Jordan Peterson I'd like to see them in a in a debate let's you know make that happen God somehow but anyway um yeah so if you're new here please like subscribe and share if you've been here for a while thank you so much for your support I do appreciate you guys being around and without further ado, we're going to go and look into it um, and see what see what the cards have to say about it all. So we are using the Halloween Tarot. So we're going to got two questions. Why has Megan mentioned Jordan Peterson? And does Megan think she's as clever as Jordan Peterson? So let's have a look. Four of bats in reverse. So this something happened that there's been a change and an unwanted rest period. Um, and she's found it quite frustrating. So with the Archetypes episode straight away, this is something that she wanted to get out and put to bed, if you know what I mean. Um, she wanted this out sooner. There has been some changes with it by the looks of things because it's, that's linking back to the Queen's death, the Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, here we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. There was a lot of wishy-washiness around this episode and maybe they went a little bit harder than, than that's actually been released. She was unsure about mentioning it. She's been unsure about doing it. Um, hmm. She is not enjoying doing these episodes, guys. It's a ten of imps. She's been carrying this burden. This burden has been released. She's feeling better about everything. It's just a joy to get off her shoulders, a joy to get off her weight off her back. Um, she really isn't enjoying doing these episodes. Ooh. So relationships aren't good at the minute. It's what's driving her. She feels like she needs to mention the word hysterical for some reason because something's happening with relationships um, and that's what drove her to it. So maybe she's been called hysterical um, by her other half or by someone very close to her. Um, it's a point that's happening right at the moment because it's what drove her to this episode she doesn't like being called she went in ace ace of swords here she's gone in with this episode and she's felt like she's gonna be setting the record straight doing stuff for women um cutting through the uh, chains of the patriarchy all that kind of stuff and she really fancies herself as some kind of academic force she really thinks she is 
quite bright with the ace of swords there um she really you know she thinks she's a swords when she's she's not really anything but let's have a look and see what oh she's gonna feel like she's gonna be on the defensive because of something that's happened with this episode okay let's focus on her and harry at the minute Okay, so we have got the strength card there of what's surrounding her and she's going to be quite defiant about why she's done this. Um, the two of imps is working with other people and looking out to new ventures and looking out to new uh, possibilities and creative endeavours. So she's trying to like get something else out, out of this. She's worried about she's going to regret doing it. She's worried about there's going to be some loss regarding it. Um, that's with the five of ghosts, five of cups there. That's what she's worried about. But what's the outcome for it? The moon in reverse. Okay. This is going to cause her some trouble. Um, the moon in the reverse is the outcome card. Is there something where she's mentioned Jordan Peterson and there's some kind of trickery revealed, something something revealed about her that she thinks is un, unsavoury, unwanted. Um, I don't know if Jordan Peterson's going to analyse her back or whatever. Um, but there's something that she make that's that's deep within that comes to the surface that she doesn't necessarily want out there because of this. That's an interesting take. So let's see if she thinks she's as clever as Jordan Peterson. We'll use in the um, jack o' lantern tarot because it's spooky season. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So she thinks she's uh, working and learning. So she thinks she's an almost an apprentice at this. Let's see what's crossing her. Six of Cups. Going back to childhood, working back to childhood. There's something where she just never feels quite enough from her childhood. <laughs> but why? Let's see what's on the Ace of Swords. There we go. Twice repeating. Yeah, she's went in, like I said, with the Ace of Swords there and there. She's went in um, thinking she's like starting something, some kind of revolutionary podcast this is meant to be it's meant to be a swipe and a start of taking down the patriarchy in her kind her version of feminism and now we have the seven of cups again and that was what was crossing it and that's what's driving there's a lot of indecision there's a lot of indecision about stuff she says she's kind of dissociated from some stuff sometimes she's um not feeling particularly grounded though she's went in with the ace of swords to strike out a new situation she's kind of the empress in reverse if she feels threatened for who she is she feels threatened about her motherhood and womanhood for some reason um page of pentacles if she does eight of cups in reverse is what's surrounding her she is worried about loss. She's worried about having to walk away from something, which could be the royal family. She's got strength. So I think even though the, it looks like there's stuff happening in the relationship, they are still kind of very much together. Um, The Page of Pentacles. I think they're just one of these couples who drama. Um, the Page of Pentacles going forward is a new start, a new project, looking at new things. Ooh, look at me, I've got this bright idea, this shiny new idea. 
um, quite shallow with money, that kind of energy. It's what's surrounding her. Eight of Wands. She's going to feel quite battered by this and she's going to be sending out um, a lot of people probably on her defence as well. So this wouldn't be surprised if there's like a little bot army somewhere going backwards and forwards for her around this. Um, that's how she defends her ideas. It defends what she wants. She's on a kind of like backwards footing with this. She does seem to think she's almost as equal, but it's driven by... It's driven by her own insecurities and wishy-washiness. It's like, I can be as regal as the Queen and I'm as clever as Jordan Peterson. It's kind of like, no. Not everyone is everything. Page of Swords is what she's concerned about. This has been acting out irrationally, charging on in there. Um... It could be being outwitted. She doesn't want somebody on her case who is um, quicker than her, more fiery than her. Let's have a look. And we have a five of cups, which is lost in reverse. Okay. Unwanted. So something's going to get messy. Um, she is, from the release of this episode, something is going to come out about her. But the, the question, does she think she's as clever as Jordan Peterson? It is quite a complicated answer, but yes. <laughs> Definitely yes. Um, she's unsure of why, but she feels like she has to flex her muscles. She has to feel like she has to be in that arena for everything with the first part of the reading of what will have why she did it and what will happen there's going to be something revealed with the moon in reverse that she's going to be very uncomfortable with um on the back of this and surrounding this but all of the other cards suggest to me when i look at uh the these ones the ones on the top <clears throat> when i look at her uh, um as if she thinks she's clever it, it's it's a little bit messy, but she is easily threatened, but she would like to think she is as clever as Jordan Peterson. I don't think she is in that sense at all. So, yeah, there we go. Um, something's going to come out from this episode that's going to be triggered by it, at least anyway, and it's going to not be comfortable for her. And, yeah. So let me know what you guys think of the cards, if there's anything you want to add. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you very much for being here and I shall see you in the next one. Bye everyone.